Welcome back to an episode of We Are Right Next to Felixy. And she, he, it has a, another mission for us. And also, uh, there's something happening down there. And I have no idea what this one is all connected to, but let's just figure that out. Now, uh, we have to find a better way to fight back against the corrupted. Sure, perhaps the bottled lightning is the edge we need. Is it? I have a certain problem uh, getting any element inside a bottle, uh, especially the watery kind, because the quest is bugged out. Making any progress? I think I I've... think I've created a way to slow the spread of corruption. Oh, okay. I'm still not quite sure what he is. Uh, this is the first time I've done something like this, so I'd feel better if we tested it on the field. Seems oh, dangerous. It is, no doubt about it. Ah. Uh. But it needs to be done. Interesting. So the voice, for example, goes from all the way up here to all the way down there. Uh, sweet. To test the effectiveness of the lightning bombs, you have to place them around the corruption at the heart of Fort Ramos. Will you do it? Sure. Absolutely gonna happen. Uh, travel to Fort Ramos to place lightning bombs at the fort. Um... Is this like an interactive thing, or do I have to take them with me? Hmm. Whatever. Uh, let's talk to Shilly Duffy. Ah. Those worms worm pirates won't recover from the blow we dealt them. You know, I've heard of something that might be useful in case they ever come back. When what is the that? first pirate crew arrived on Eternum's shore, the captain created a formidable set of armor to protect mm -hmm. them from the horrors they discovered here. Hmm. Armor like that is sure to defend against more than just the Worms Worm Pirates and their ick. Where is it now? Ah, that's what makes this a legend. Hmm. No one knows where the location of the original set of uh, armor is. It's said the captain gifted each piece of a member their crew, but the <laughs> each piece to members of their crew. But the patterns the captain used to make it remain. Shrouded hmm. intent. Uh oh, uh, there's a lot of speculation behind that name. Mm, personally, I think it was because that old captain wasn't entirely honest. Here, take this pattern and see if you can find what it's, it takes to make that armor. Now, the box of agents of darkness. Uh, okay, a box containing a variety of powerful agents of darkness used to amplify the power of shrouded intent armor. Okay, what exactly do I need to do this? Complete quest obscured footsteps. Uh huh. So there's a, uh, a quest that you need to do before that. Nice. Travel to. Oh, it comes in two uh, two parts. Travel to pull patch cover and cutlass keys to collect silk pull patch leather. Where is that? Down there. Okay. Uh, and then there's another one up here. Lightning unleashed. Let's try to unleash a little lightning, and then we can go down there again. Uh, my inventory is pretty small right now. <laughs> there was some amount of gold coming back here just a moment ago. That's so weird. Uh, every time. Alright, number three. Let's do lightning unleashed first. I just have no clue how I'm going to do that. And so if I just have to interact with things, it would make it much easier now. Boom. 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 Bada boom. Bada bada. Okay. Uh, so the thing goes forward still as the difference. Then backwards was the block. And then there's, of course, the thumb button thingy for... Okay, good. That's this button. Oof. 243. Is it a lot of damage? I don't know. Doesn't seem that much to me. The scaling might be extremely off for that. Basically, I halved it. Uh, hmm. But if I compare this with a Void Gauntlet, was it maybe at 100 something damage or 200 something, 200 something? I think it was 200 something, 200 something. 
But the way the scaling works is also somewhat different. Um, the rapier, or like normal weapons, scale differently than a void gauntlet, let's say. But right, uh, da, 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 we're still not there yet. Oh. And nope, not there. There we go. Much better. The nicest thing about it, though, is still the fact that you don't waste any mana. <laughs> I just love that. Okay. I just need to be a bit more careful about the whole thing. I'm at half health here. Definitely not good. <sighs> oh, now I got even more stone. Perfect. Da, 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 da. So, place the lightning bombs. Uh, where exactly? Maybe the whole thing is marked with some blue-ish markers. Let's see. Why does it take them ages to attack? Really iffy. Ah. Yes. It's right there. There's one. There could be... No, there's only one down here. And there's another one right there. Okay, that's a bit cheap. Do they? Do they? Do they? Not yet. Okay, I got the second one. And no number three is only remaining. Oh, that was too early. And... Oof. I still got the timing wrong. Ah, it's so evil. And I'm not doing that much health. Ah, eh, that much health. That much damage. Same thing. Ooh. Oh, come on. I do have to say that I am missing the Void Gauntlet right now. It's really weird. Okay. Why does that not work? Where's the doggy? Doggy's there. Yeah, it's fine, like. On guard, dude. Just change the location of this bloody thing like that. It's just ridiculous. The only way of obtaining that thing is to climb up here. Alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And there's the last part. There we go. Nice. Da 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 dee. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, come on. So, uh, the playstyle is somewhat different because I don't heal with the rapier. I heal with the fields that I place on the ground beforehand. Still have to remind myself sometimes. 
Why does it take them ages to react? Okay, do we have anything up here that I could... Usually it's always something up here, but not this time. Hmm. Okay. Well then... That means... Oh, there's one up here. Yeah, and I have to evade forwards in order to deal more damage, right? There was a perk that made that work. Ah, uh, one perk right here. Da, 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 da. Something in here. Gain stamina immediately on use. Haste, uh, and so on so much. Evading forward does more damage on light attacks. Da, 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 da. And after performing an ability, yes. More damage after an ability. Ooh, woo. Just have to get the timing a bit better. With a bit of spamming, I might just get lucky sometimes and not take any damage, but look at that. Look at the amount of damage that we took just by fighting this one enemy. I think I have to go back to the Void Gauntlet, if that's going on. Uh -oh. Okay, we got another one. Perfect. Nope. There are so many, there are so many. Oh, this asshole, come on. farming here as well, but come on. Uh, wait a minute, I did place all of the bombs there though, right? Okay, now we're good. So, that was that. Uh, we got that thing done. Let's just walk all the way down there. Actually, do we want to walk or? Yeah, let's just walk. In this case, I may even get the opportunity to find a few more enemies and get bit more used to using the rapier again. There we go. And... Ooh. Yep, definitely need to get <laughs> used to it. Playing a little bit mindlessly with the uh, Void Dawn, it was just so nice of it for a change. Maybe I should use the the hammer instead, like that may also have had some kind of heal ability there. Oh no. <laughs> uh, who needs the 15% more damage if you just don't get hit at all? Uh, that one looks... No, wait. Every time you mine that, right, there's a little orb on top of that. And this one is gone right now. Yes. <laughs> I just love that. Uh, sideways. <sighs> and no damage. And this one. Mobility. Oh, yeah. Right. Let's get further down. Oh, look at that. Another leopard. Defeated. With armor and the fact that you get invulnerable every now and then, that feels like even more cheat, to be honest. Ah, yes, 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 yes. By the way, what kind of level is this armor right now? 35. Only slightly under level. And 32. Hmm. That's extremely under level. <laughs> Not just slightly. Oh, wait. Uh, and then another Vicomet. Wait a minute. And uh, let's just 
So I've got that and that. And what is locking? Uh, we could just do it like that. Like hitting the L key is a bit too far away. I can't do this like fully nilly like that. So. Bum, 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 ba, da, 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 Almost a 200, sweet. That means I can skill almost everything in this game. Oh no. I always get the attacks a bit off. So, let's see, let's get this one. And maybe this one. And is there another enemy around? Uh, oh wait, there's a doggy. And then there could be another one just walking about, but let's just not care that much about it. Hey, got it. Oh, there's the boat user. What happens if we... Okay, we still get hit. I was hoping for a block of the... Ooh. Of the arrows. Oh. No. Eh. Okay, I definitely used the block button there. Or parry button. Nothing happened. Absolutely nothing. Whoa. Ooh, oh, wait, there's a package. Oh, I have to try to fight those alligators. Let's see. Let's see how the damage is going then. Ah, oh, that was so sweet. <sighs> but some kind of a swing weapon would be nice, really. Like the, uh, the rapier is a very pointy, very uh, specified kind of weapon. Not as intended. Oh wait. <laughs> oh, that is so cheap. I love that. Okay. That's so absolute cheap. Just a little bit sideways. Like either I can dash with the stamina or I can dash normally. Oh. And oh. Come on, get killed. There we go. That was not intended. Absolutely not intended, but they are going after me anyway. Ew. Let's get this guy's attention, and that one's attention, and that one. Right, that one too. Maybe I overdid it a bit. Oh, come on, come on. Nice. Uh oh. Nope. The void gauntlet would have been much better for that. And shit, now I'm too far away. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, let's go there from first light. Then shit. The void gauntlet would have just done it, right? With the whole healing capabilities and stuff. Jesus. Now I have to repair that thing. Oh no, that's almost broken. Ugh. Okay. I mean, the rapier, as I said, a very specified, specific kind of weapon. It goes forward, but it doesn't go sideways. 
And the sideways thing is what makes this really good. Hmm. So bloody stupid. Oh, wait a minute. I can just teleport down there, right? Like, right now, I should use that. Let's be lazy. Let's be lazy. Let's be lazy. Come on, go. And... Nah, it's working. Yes. And we stop automatically. Perfect. The thing is, you have to constantly hover over the thing until it triggers. Is there... No, there's no other mission. <sighs> so stupid, so stupid, so stupid, so stupid. Okay, I still want to keep on using the Vapor. But I have to say that I do miss out on the additional healing that I do. Even if the Void Gauntlet can sometimes be iffy. But I kind of got used to the fact that I have to switch back to the live stuff every now and then. But the bonus heal that you can do on top of the uh, life stuff heal. That was so sweet. Absolutely sweet. Wait, number six is done there. What do I need to do with this? Uh, search chests for magnetic braces. Also, how much does it cost to repair everything right now? Um, 77 coin. Oh. Half of the amount of stuff that I have at the moment. And that was early. Nope. to say, I do miss the boss. Unbelievable. That basically just means that if I want to reset the skills, let's say, on the Void Gauntlet, then I would also miss out on the way I played it until so far, right? Really not take any damage here, and that's kind of ridiculous. Okay, against one enemy, it might be a really good uh, weapon. There we go. There we go. Done. Nice. Now we got all the braces, and we can continue for the north. Perfect. Ah, with some salvage. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely yes. Oh, wait. Let's not forget the good stuff. Ah, number five. Uh, this assassination stone skull elite. Let's not unpin this. You on journal. Uh, let's abandon that. That's a very iffy mission. Okay, so that means we can still do number one. Hopefully, number one is not an elite mission. No, it's not. It doesn't say that yet. Bloody believable. I need to get used to playing the rapier again. <laughs> I had a problem changing towards the void gauntlet, and now I have a, the same problem backwards again. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, Am I at 90 now? Yes. Don't 
Oh no, another loot dude. Oh, um, damn it. <laughs> nope, no. Ooh, ha, a double swing. Oh no, the alligator's going. And I definitely don't feel prepared. No, 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 no. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. I want my voice on the back. I want my voice on the back. Ah. Oh, goodness, no. Oh, come on. Oh, I should have placed a few. I should have placed some camp down there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's not working. It's just not working. You got to be kidding me. It's not working. I can do it with a Void Gauntlet. I can take the damage and it's working. But if I try to be a bit more... Uh, just a bit better in terms of skill, all of a sudden it's not working anymore. But, alright. It's also a crocodile that just came out of nowhere. But the thing is, you have to take it into account in this game, right? You have to take into account that there's always an enemy coming up randomly. It's attacking you. Then you just end up dead. So what you have to do is you have to use a very cheat-ish kind of playstyle already in order to survive a cheat-ish kind of enemy design. They force you to play this. Anything else means that you have to ha get an awful lot of skill going. And that's definitely not... What's helping me Ooh, in the long run? Alright. I think it's the damage is actually the damage is also not there, if you think about it. Um I attacked it multiple times in a row and it's just bee stings. Alright, uh, let's build that here, so I can just resurrect. Don't forget to build your camp. Look at that, 500 damage. The ability wasn't ready yet. What was that? Come on. My timing is completely off right now. Absolutely off. Must be so iffy. Why was there even a crocodile around? Where's this? Yeah, that's the that's the one. Oh, come on, I was sideways of it. Early. All right, perfect. At least we got some nice coin out of it. <sighs> Twice seven point something. Hmm. All right. Please, no. 
Oh, it's early. Oh no, that was mm, kind of working. Okay. In this case, you have to evade like Cyrus towards the right. And that ability right there, that's cheap. Oh no, 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 no. Why do they sometimes not attack at all? They bombard you sometimes with like three or four swingy hits in a row. Then there's suddenly this stuff. Uh, okay, what about this one? Also elite. Oh, what gonna happen? The whole patch is full of elite enemies. Yeah, thank goodness they don't follow me. Whew. Maybe I should try to get a, another weapon that also has some kind of heal effect there. I don't know if it was the sword. Maybe the spear. Maybe something else. Who knows? Unbelievable. Alright, half an hour in. What's that one called? Uh, obscure footsteps. It is level 40. Okay. Now I know why it's, it's somewhat difficult. What's he attacking? Normal enemies. Alright. Oh. Great. Of course, there's a 70 gap here. Let's see. Do I get. No. I have to fight them myself. Sadly. He doesn't seem to care about the provision crates, though. But it was down here before as well, so I'm good. And it takes ages. Thank you. Ooh, can't see anything. There, there are the patches that I need. How many of them? Uh, ten. Also, uh, how long until this ability gets reset? Evading forward gains here. Yeah, bonus stuff. Uh, individual successful light attacks reduce the cooldown of this ability by 30% each. Successful light attacks. Individual successful light attacks. No, 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 no. It's gonna blow too quickly, is it? Yes. But it didn't even get any experience. How oh, I hate this enemy so much. And not again. Okay. Got ourselves a nice fire stuff. And backstab. 500 damage. Sometimes the weapon doesn't even hit. That's so weird. But right, we're gonna get used to it. Uh, I do still play it a bit more spammy though. So, where do we want to go? Let's get out of there this way. Maybe I can just walk around it. Yep, perfect. Come on, throw it. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Should have used the parry for that one. Nice. Easy. Okay, the idea is just to evade, 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 evade all the time. Evade all the time, bang. Evade left. 
evade right. Sometimes even evade forward. Come on. Oh, I This game does not care about the buttons that you press at all. Why? Why must it be like that? Oh, wait. Alrighty. Maybe I should have used the rape here with something uh, lifesteal ish on a perk. Like, this one just has light and heavy attacks deal more damage. But there was some rape here there that had an option or a, 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 a perk that just uh, deals. Nah, not deals. Um, heals for so and so much damage. That was a good one. Ow! Cheat move. Okay. Three more of those. Okay, that's no one up here. Okay, so let's just for uh, as a check. Is there something in here that just immediately triggers the self cast? I mean, that's the life stuff combat, right? Uh, you can cycle through targets up and down. You can exit it with another button. Then you can do a target self, which is the left control. I can also hold it. Uh huh. Left control hold. So it's not just a click it kind of thing. You have to hold it in order to make that work. I don't want to do that. And also, what was the left control to begin with? Uh, holding down was walking. And... That was pretty much it. Weapon ability number four. What's... Ah, that, that was the ping. Ah, okay. Interesting. How do you... Yeah, that was the ping button. All right. The more you know. And they're regenerating again. I am not going to go to the other side. This is where the uh, elite enemies are going to start. All right. The only good thing, really, Ooh. about this rape here is that it came with a decent amount of bonus focus. And my life stuff is doing it. tons of damage right now. Whoa. That's the only good bit. Like, this thing here. Why must it be the life stuff that gets better? Why? Oh. One more sword skull patch. Maybe I can find another enemy, right? Let's see. There's one more dude. One more dude, Reno. I just cut down this tree, why not? Ah. A bonus in terms of gold. No. Ah, uh, bollocks, it noticed me. 3, 2, 1, BAM! Easy! Okay. At least it scares well with it. What do we need to do? Travel to Carburg and with a Sven to collect muffled fan padding. That is, uh... Somewhere completely different. Sweet. I'm not gonna go there and just collect that stuff. I mean... Wanted to do some other side missions here as well. Okay, I need to go all the way to the west and do this other uh, mission first. I mean, it wouldn't really matter that much, right? Like, this distance is still somewhat the same in relation to number three. Oh, there's that one here. Uh, it's also somewhere around, but this is in a different area. And once I'm up there, I'm going to continue doing those Weaver's Fen missions. Alright, let's just go and walk it. Am I going to the right direction? Yes, west. 
all the way towards the west. And the corruption thing is still there. No one is taking... Nope, it's like level 55. Okay, it's even stronger than that. I thought it was just a uh, 45 the last time around. But now I got even stronger. Those people don't care about corruption, it seems. Not even in the slightest. Oh, wait. Let's just eat a bit more. There. Yeah. Now I am well fed. <laughs> Uh, look at the damage. I'm much better off doing just this kind of damage. Compared to anything related to the bloody rapier, even if it has amber stuff on it. Hmm. That is 18 focus. That one is 20 focus. What if I just use this one instead? Uh, equipment cannot be exchanged while abilities are on cooldown. Uh, I'm exchanging another weapon. I'm exchanging those two. I'm not exchanging the the main weapon here. Okay, let's just try that one here. Let's see what the damage says, to be honest. It's like somewhere in the full 500s here. That's absolutely mental. Oh, wait. Oh no. There we go. When am I healing? When am I healing? When is the healing going to start? I'm just gonna get pummeled here. Oh, the healing's actually there. It's just, uh. Actually, I would have gotten the same problems with the Void Gauntlet as well. The only difference there is that the white gauntlet gets swung like sideways a little bit. So you can hit multiple enemies simultaneously. Whereas the rapier is a wee bit different. Alright, so that one is done. Let's get this one done. Perfect. I just want to keep the rapier. It's just such a funny weapon. <sighs> so nice. Maybe I should reset it a little bit because I don't really do the forward dash most of the time. Ah, no, 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 no. There we go. Perfect. Wait, I'm gonna go south again. I need to go further west. So this way. Uh, let's only walk around the uh, fringes of that little island. Because it can be that there's like a tentacle thing here that just shoots all the way out. Maybe some other kind of range thingy that happens. Oh no. I could also just try and... That wouldn't be cool. Nah, I think I'm okay. So, if I want to reset that, uh, reduce all rapier cooldowns by one on any hit. Hmm. Any. So that means it's good against, like, longer-ish kind of cooldowns. And apply the first bleed, the second opponent tundra's cooldown is reduced by 10%. Hmm. Even on the block tip, tundra's cooldown is reduced by 25% again. And again and again and again. Yeah. Both of these, evade and tondo, basically mean... Spam. Spam, 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 spam. That's what it means. <laughs> Tons of spam. Uh, Alright, let's cut down one of those trees. Why not? Mm, 
noise. Kind of mixed between the orange environment and the brightish normal environment. Pretty sweet, like you see that? You can change your surroundings a little bit, like that gradient right here, that's cool. With a slight tint of orange. That's so neat. So cool. Wait a minute. Uh, ah, that's so sweet. Look at that. Uh oh. That's not a good sign. I'm actually going in the right direction now. Oh no, I can't open my energy like that. There we go. Um, I'm going to go north ish. Yeah, let's go just to the other side and then further sideways around here. That could do it. The laziness. <laughs> Walking. What? What's that? You can just dash forward. Actually, I, uh, hmm. If I want to be hyper mobile, right? Then maybe I would need the sword and the vaping. Then I don't really know about the cooldowns of it. If I need a slightly different one then too. Like, uh, the spear and the sword or something like that. Uh, right. Whoa. That was neat. Yeah, let's just fight our way through. Open up some chests. Get more goods. Be happy. Ooh. Oh. Oh no. That was a bit too light. That was also a wee bit too light. Sucking up a bit too much damage here. Wait, I could try to just go straight forward. Nope. Oh wait. There we go. So come on, get up the mountains. Get up the mountains. You can do that. I know you can. There we go. Wow. Four hits, that's it. Well, come on. Why does this one hit never hit it? It never makes it. Ever. It always goes like somehow to the side. Just because this enemy is taking its bloody head and then pulling it to the, what was it? His right side. Oh no. Yeah, again. Pesky boys. Tropical doom boars of doom. Wow. Okay, so we takes ages. They already have very high crafting uh, gathering speed. It's ridiculous. Oh, 
Ooh. It's only bee stings. Hmm. Okay, let's just go on forward. Every time I find something large and or interesting, I'm going to gather with that thing. And the tree, for example. Oh, another leopard. Yeah. The leopard is sideways. Let's go further forward. There we go. And... Ooh. On garde. Nice. That uh, was a clean fight without any damage taken. Perfect. Seems as if we're getting it done. Slowly but surely. Oh. Heard another leopard. And I do see another boar. <laughs> uh. Is it? Yes. These things are absolutely mental. Just need to figure out when they actually try to attack. Like, what's their movement? I know how alligators work. I can kind of like outplay them if I'm on point. But I don't know how they telegraph their attack. There's always some 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 small movement is something with the head. Sometimes there's a body motion that happens. There we go. Hmm. If I can force them to charge on forward like that, I can definitely just evade. Hmm. Right. What do we have here? Yes, more boulders. Stone, well, that is now available. <laughs> yes, someone else sold stuff. Perfect. Okay. Only thing I need to do now is uh, make a decent amount of gold so that I can buy all of the cheap. Uh, stone on the market and then sell it for slightly more what? because the prices are just a bit too low right how much more 300 meters this way definitely doable no. Hmm, I need another rape here with a heal. Rape here with a heal. Rape here with a heal. Look at how quickly you can just gather that stuff so it goes vroom, 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 vroom. It's only this pesky silkweed that messes it up. It's coming. Nope. Are they kind of weak to thrust damage? Nah. Oh, look at that. Something cool and salvage. Let's cut this thing down. No, I'm actually going the wrong direction. That's not good. Ah, uh, this way. Let's not get distracted by those enemies. Straight towards our target. Alright, almost there. Hey, glowworm bait. So depending on where that 
flint is that you pick up, you do sometimes find glow worms, uh, sometimes you find normal worms, and some other times you do find nothing. Hmm. And in this case, it's in the soul board area. Ooh. Where is it? Ish. Salt water ish area. Well, it's actually right inside the water. Not on the sand, right inside the water. Hmm. Thunderous Phantom. Is that the one? Uh. Nope. Okay, I got that one done. Why do they have to make that strange arc if they charge at you? That's so weird. Okay, that one is done. What else do we have? There's another present. And you are... Starved Ghost. <laughs> yeah, I know those kind of ghosts. They're actually from somewhere up here. Another Starved Ghost. But anyway, this mission is still somewhat buggy. Ah, come on! Do I want to fight two of those at the same time? Actually, I don't, but I can just try it. Yeah. When I get inside range, that is. something much more increased attack speed so I can spam the light attacks even more so that I can use the evade even more. <laughs> oh, that would be so sweet. What's this? Another stuff goes? Yes. Okay, now we are on the uh, island. Travel to... Oh. Defeat Boatswain and the Benjamin. That's the one. What? Oh, no. I think uh, I know where the thing is. It's one of those titan-y kind of things. This one, Boatswain Benjamin, with a cold aura. 43, yeah, that's decent. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. What was that? Jesus Christ, what is this? He uses rockets. That's cheating. Or cannons, actually. Holy crap, that dude is also... ...extremely quick. Okay, let's just use the rapier a little bit further. What was that? Uh oh. Actually, I was a wee bit stupid uh, because I forgot to place a camp. <laughs> uh, my bad. Wait a minute. 
So, wait a minute, to the right, and then to the left. To the right, uh, and then to the left. I'm absolutely pissed. <sighs> Boy. And it's of course a restricted area. Okay, let's get a little bit further north. Let's hope that this is not part of the Unbound Island. Is still part of the Unbound Island? Come on. Really? I mean, I was fighting it all the time. It's on the bloody island. <laughs> Can't it just work? Ugh. And I can't place any quick travel spots around here. Okay, so they really need to do something about this quick travel nonsense. one thing uh, placing a camp right inside an enemy camp, right? Like, this is something that I can understand. What I can't understand is placing a camp somewhere in the middle of the woods. Somewhere in here. Why can't that work? Like, there are enemies all over the place anyway, right? Like, some leopards can be found everywhere. Or well, some boars, right? So why is it that you cannot place one of those cams around? And I just want to know what parts of this island are considered to be unbound, right? So you know exactly how far you need to go away until this whole trigger just disappears. Because I'm still on the unbound island. Okay, let's see. Maybe I have to get a little bit further uh, into the water in order to deactivate that. Let's see. I had him at like... L I had to deal so much damage. It was so good. No. I had to mess it up. Still the unbound island. Hmm. Okay, if I go to this ca ah, it disappeared. Perfect. Let's see. Uh, I think that's close enough. Right. Ah, uh, now it gets into the Unbound Island Territory. Perfect. Maybe I should really consider using more elemental type of damages, like fire or ice also. Whoop. Come on, get killed. Hey, the life stuff got better. Ooh, almost maxed. Sweetie. Okay, what's the next one that I wanted in here? This thing. Commit the lot. 31 points. Ok. 
Okay. So this dude is going to fight somewhere down here. Defeat button to collect the touch coin. Uh Ah, look at that. Off. It was completely off. Ah. Ooh, okay, to the right. Oh, oh. Mm. What's it doing? What's it doing? Ooh. Actually, that's a good idea. Oh, what, what, what? Need to get inside a field. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, hey. Uh, and sideways. Nope, that was wrong. That was wrong. Sideways. And sideways and sideways again. Place the thing. Get the fortify. Oh, what? Come on. No, what's going on? Ooh. Not good, not good, not good, not good. No way. Alright. Now what do we have? Healing. I can continue the attack again. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh oh. Mm, not good, not good, not good. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Like trigger his uh, range state somewhat. That would be sweet. Right. No, 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 no. <sighs> like that's that right here. That's pretty sweet. Uh, we got it halfway done. Nice. Okay. 
What's, what, what's, what's going on? Come on, face it. That was cheat. Come on, think. And of course, there's another guy coming out of nowhere for no apparent reason. Ah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It just takes too long. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And then it just resurrects or it regenerates full health. Oh, I'm not dealing enough damage. I hate that. Oh, bollocks. Okay, is there some kind of weakness to it? Okay, maybe the rapier is not the right thing for it. Maybe what we can do is use the void gauntlet. If that's not working, then I'm going to uh, teleport backwards again. <clears throat> thing is I'm just kind of annoyed by the fact that the damage isn't there and this enemy is only level 35 uh, 34 and I'm like six levels higher than that all of a sudden nothing works and even elite enemies right should be <laughs> defeatable <laughs> but this takes forever uh... Like those normal ghosts are easy to be defeated. These other ones, not so much. So, heads or tails, if you think. So there are two missions that I can't do in here. One of them because of the elite thing. Uh. Oh, uh. Come on, I can't even get close to it. Okay, 300 something. Nah. The thing is, I can't get close to it. That's the iffy bit. Ooh. And I'm also wasting uh, a decent amount of mana again. Oh, yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Come on, face it. And did it give it? Always getting flattened by it. No. Similar to the to the way the alligators fight, they always push me out of the area there. Oh. No, no, no. Okay. No. Yeah. Get in the range. I can't stay in the range. It's just not possible. I mean, I can do decent damage. I can defeat it. It's just annoying. <laughs> That's the thing. And one item has been broken. Perfect. No, we're not going to fight it anymore. Ah, uh, not cool. Definitely not cool. You cannot recall or fast travel when you are dead. Okay, uh, nearest visit to this one is that. Uh, okay. Oh, so annoying. I need to deal more damage. Like, I, uh, the problem is if I get hit once, I get hit twice. And then maybe a third time again. So, what I need to do is get hit inside a healing range, and then everything would be fine. The issue with this is that I'm getting 
get pushed outside of the healing radius all the time and then basically means the healer's not worth it really uh the only times when the healer's useful is if i make sideways on it uh the void gun like the void gun is completely broken like what is going on it's really weird but it wasn't really useful there at all it's just kind of strange really 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 strange hmm Okay, what kind of stats do we have? We have intelligence and focus. Intelligence is good. Focus intelligence. Intelligence again. Focus intelligence. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. I could go with like focus and dexterity though. That would at least increase the uh, damage on the rapier a bit more than we got. But look at that. That one does 462 damage. That one does 294 damage. No, 300 and whatnot. Uh, what if I take both of them away? Hmm. Because of all of this uh, bonus intelligence, then this scaling is just much better. Uh, 36, 35. Yeah, the level is also the same. Or maybe the damage on the rapier is also a little bit lower to begin with, because you can use it uh, and attack a bit more often. Hmm. In this case, it would be better for me to use a different uh, set of skills for the rapier. Like the uh, the movement ability, yes, kind of cool. Uh, but I can't use it often enough in order to make real sense. Especially against a very specific kind of enemy like that one. Uh, hmm. I need the hyper movement. So that means I want to level that up. I'm going to keep the sage thing in here. But I don't want it to get destroyed all the time. Like This is one of the other things that annoys me a bit. I can't definitely destroy it. I just need another perk or a slightly different perk on the right pair. Need to reset it a little bit. I want to keep that one, the momentum. Um, but I want to get the tondo. That would be neat. So, uh... What about this one? When applying the first bleed stack to an opponent? Yeah, 10%. That's a lot. What about that? If the reverse is triggered successfully, all of your attacks become uninterruptible for 3 seconds. Mm. I mean, that's okay, but most of the time I'm using the evade ability, don't I? So you can get this one and this one away, uh, and get Tonto in there. So let's try that. Let's respec. Mm. Let's get this stuff in here. Critical strikes, reduce that. Let's get that one and uh, uh, ah, okay. Let's just get that one. Sadly, I need something in here. My damage attack is with a rapier bleed. Okay. Then I'm gonna get uh, this thing and uh, maybe I can get another one. Gain haste. On rapier attacks, um, can it take up to five times? Gain more haste. What damage when your health is full? Mm -hmm. That does happen, though. That does happen. When the stamina is below, so it's a much critical strikes reduces or cooldowns. Yes. Maybe that. Uh, there we go. Reduce the cooldown of other rapier police by 20% when landing a repost stun. Killing with this ability reduces its cooldown. But this one is other rapier abilities. Not this one here. Mm. That is six seconds. I uh, reduce the cooldown of this ability. Yeah, this ability gets reduced all the time. Critical strikes reduce all cooldowns. But there's nothing in here that increases critical strike chance, right? I'm only at 5%. Whereas the white gauntlet has like extreme amounts. Extreme, I tell you. Extreme. Hmm. Each of the flow reduces its cooldown by 7% again. So it's. Every ability in here seems to reduce its own cooldown more than anything else. Any heavy attack on a bleeding enemy will extend the rapier bleeds. Okay. 
No. I'm interested in cooldown. Each check of damage on total bleed reduces the cooldown of this ability by... Again, this ability. It's only this, 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 this that, that there's no interaction between anything. If you only one target, even on a block, Tondo's cooldown is reduced by 25%. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still gonna keep that one around. Deal 10 more damage when your stamina is below 40%. And then it says gain free stamina on any hit. It's kind of like the opposite, right? Either you deal more stamina, uh, you deal more damage with low stamina, but you do gain stamina with every hit, right? So it gets more and more difficult to get into the low stamina range. Hmm. Okay, what was the other uh, thing that I had? I think it was haste, wasn't it? Swiftness, something. But the thing is, haste is just movement speed bonus. It's cool, but... Not necessarily useful. Uh... And it's only good against, like... Almost dead enemies. So... Let's get that here. Uh, Tondo will be the forward thing. This one will be the back one. And that one will be like that. Perfect. So, that should do it. And... Whoa, okay. It's Slash, though. That's good. That means AOE capable. Nice. So, let's throw everything into the Slash real quick. Uh, this one can be transferred. Maximum capacity. Okay. Why do I have maximum capacity? Uh, because of the stones. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Interesting. And I can't move, can I? No, I still can move. Perfect. Uh... Yeah, I can't use any abilities anyway, so that's a bit weird. Need to get rid of all of the stone. Like people are buying stone, but there's no room for it in the storage anymore. Oh no, people are selling stone to me. Okay, I need to get rid of that now. Um. Oh oh. Oh, because of the repairs. Ugh. Damn it. Oh, why must I be so stupid? Um, hmm. Okay, I need to sell stone directly now. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I do get some coin by finishing missions, right? Uh, there's one up here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The thing is, it does cost me like 50-ish coin or to put stuff on there. Do we get more terrain? No. Come on. There we go. I've been studying the ruins and I'm working so... to harness the power of Azor within them. Everyone's done and done. And Stone Skull Ford. Nope, that one gets ready, set. Alright, did I get some coin though? Yes. Now I can talk to Felix in. And maybe I. I this cannot be. Okay. Uh, yes. There we go. The split did the trick. Don't want to wait here. <laughs> Woo. They are all ah, place. idea. Excellent Thanks. Work. Yeah, that should slow them down. I only regret I wasn't there to see them in action. You should make more of these. I plan on it. Huh. 
Yeah, we'll need every possible trick to hold back the corruption. Something is changing their old habits, so any new advantage we can gain will help. Ah, uh, ready. Edit to inventory, edit to inventory. Or, ah, the, 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 the sword. Strength constitution. Mm. Bind on pickup and sell. Ah, time to get rid of some stone here. Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, sell the crafting material, which is stone. And sell order is... Why? Why, 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 why do they have to be so stupid? Um... And I only see two stone sell orders in here. Uh, stone... Looking for normal... Normal stone, okay. I'm looking for resources, I'm looking for... Raw resources, stones, stone. And... Oh, the perk is making it difficult. There we go. Huh. What did I buy it for? Okay, point two is the max. I got it from, from, I can sell it for 0.19, yeah, which still makes some kind of a profit. Um, sell the stones for yay much. Actually, 20 would be okay as well, but let's go with maximum. Bam. Hmm. Same for the flint. The flint, on the other hand, look at that. Nice. Okay, let's buy the uh, rest of the flint real quick. Flint. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, so sweet. So, about all of that, and now we can actually sell it. So, yes. Ah, profit. <laughs> oh, neat. I don't think that anyone will actually buy it for that amount, but it's just a... Hmm, what am I going to do with the raw height? Uh, sell order for that? Nah, that's, that's definitely not much. It's better to have some coin right now that we can utilize. Let's throw that in. Okay, aged wood. Nope. So, silk threads, what about that? Ooh, yes. 0 0.29 though, look at that. 0 0.4. Yes, we're gonna sell it for that much, but uh, wait a minute. The listing fee, always the listing fee, nope. Um, what about green wood? 0.16. And the his stuff for 101. Ah, oh, neat. So, uh, 101 and... 100 uh, it's like free coin yeah that makes no sense without the transaction charge let's just ignore that right or okay let's just take this one uh, I would make one two uh... no wait a minute I would make 29 coin with this 29 minus 24 uh, and if I sell it for yay much I would only make 20 so it's a loss of four potential coin only problem is that is coin that I have right now right so it's a time sensitive thing again ah oh, the fact that this is so that this actually makes a difference is so iffy Yes, 
What about that one? Four. Oh, yeah, okay. So, 64. Like, 10 is 4 point... No. Let's just make a rule of thumb. Um, if it is 100 and more, it is okay to put it as a specific sell order. If it is less than 100, you can just sell it directly uh, in here with the buy orders and get rid of it. That might be your best bet. There we go. There's some fiber thingies in there. Peppercorn. Nah. Palais. Okay, what else do I have? Ah, sand flux. Ah, nice, nice, nice. How much do I have? 21, 40 something. Need. But the bloody listing phase always against me. Alright, anything else that I have in my inventory that could make me... Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. But that might be... Not that much more, okay? Not that much more. That's a decent amount of coin. Good. So now that we got the cinnamon. Shadow fur. Where did I get that one? Randomly from a creature for some reason. Ah. Five times as much. Much better. But again, uh, it's the amount of units that can be sold that make the difference and that is not it that is no you need to collect much more to make a real difference fire modes yes why is silk weave so cheap No one cares about silver, right? Yeah, not really. 55... Uh, no one wants fur. Look at that. Maybe it's really easy to get. Okay, flawed diamond. Cut pristine amber. What? <laughs> oh. All right, let's go for all items. Could we maybe buy anything? <sighs> Wait a minute, no. Mm. It's about our gear right now. What I need is not crafting. Oh, crafting and quality. Like, why does that one all of a sudden appear in here? Pri ah, because of the price. Huh. So crafting gear is really easy to get. Quite nice. Yield when stone cutting. Ooh, okay. Wow. Maybe you can. It says plus two engineering. What? Crafted item quality plus two percent yield. Uh huh. So if you have uh, maybe bonus yield items for this kind of things, then you can make a profit by selling the additional items that you get. So for normal crafting situations, you wouldn't make a profit, but these give you just uh, the additional yield that you need in order to equal it out. Interesting. That might be an additional reason why yeah, the, 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 the follow-up items uh, so not the tier 1 uh, resources are so cheap. Hmm. 
Okay. Can't afford. Gears go six hundred. Those items are actually really cheap. Hmm. Now, nah. what I need to do is I need to figure out another way to make some money in here. But how? My other idea was with dice, right? Dice could work a little bit. But yeah, uh, right now I want to see if I can buy myself some nice items. All right, for what not? Focus, <laughs> sweet. That's a good, oh, that's a really good one. Oh, absolutely, yes. Uh, increases movement speed by zone so much. Uh, if you put a trap out there. Focus 16. The bonus damage, okay. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Okay, I'm gonna get it. Uh, that one. Nice. Absolutely nice. So, only thing that it needs is a wee bit more gems in order to make it worth it. But in this case, I can just go with the cheapest gem. Uh, that's the strongest. <laughs> Sounds weird, but yeah, that's it. Um, Let's go for more sage, though. Zage. Well, I use sage, sage, sage. Ah, uh, Nomad, Sage, come on. Ah, uh, there we go. Great. That's not the type of armor that I wanted. I'm still in chest armor. What about that? Uh, 16. Ah, uh, the other one is still 16. That's not something that I need. Weaken. Every hit of the Cyclone heals you. No, I don't have Cyclone. You deal more frost damage. Reduces cooldown. Haste you apply lasts longer. You take less arcane damage. Reduces max cooldown. No. But I'm looking for something... Using beacon increases healing power on self. Yeah, that's kind of cool, but no. It's also light. No. Let's go for head armor. I need a heavy kind of armor. Hmm, that one doesn't quite work. But the other one is 36, so the increase there isn't as significant. Um, let's see, what about the earrings? Nah. That's not it, okay. Uh, chest armor I just bought right now. What about amulets? Actually, if you have multiple of those refreshing perks in there, they add up. You have 2.2, another 2.2, another 2.2, maybe... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, how many of those items can you have? Five? Wait a minute. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Um, eight times 2.2 makes 16, plus the additional thingy, so it's... Uh, 16 one is like 18%. Um, maybe a bit more if the values are slightly higher, but... Roughly 20%. That is a decent c decrease in cooldown. That's pretty sweet. Alright, what about that one? Uh, I would get a bit more focus, though. What am I looking for? Yes, the di ah, the diamond costs me a lot. Oh, of course. Reduces max cooldown. Fortify your apply lasts longer. When you are hit while below a sense of match, you can fortify. Doesn't trigger. Da, 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 da. Less lightning damage. Less arcane damage. Ice damage absorption. While locking, gain chance at finding rare items. That's a good one again. Uh, that's sweet. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, and then there's the additional items every time you harvest things or whatnot. But it would be nice to have a bonus that is like combat related. Reduces max cooldowns by a 2.2%. Why must it be so bloody expensive? Hmm, okay, what about this page here? Nah, the values aren't high enough. So, uh, there was the amulets. Earrings, I just checked. There was some interesting ones in there, but not necessarily needed. Chest was there, foot. Uh, medium footwear, no, what I need is like heavy footwear. Let's go for the legs, see if there's like some heavy stuff in here. It's lightweight again, heavy again. I'm looking for like 400-ish gear score. So it's not useful with a sage. Uh, foot and leg. Then there's hand armor. Light gloves again. Nope, heavy gloves. Light gloves again. That's not working. And rings. What do we got here? Gain to win to mana per hit. Nah, nah. More frost damage. That's actually quite neat with the rapier bonus. But is this something that also boosts your nature damage? That would be sweet. You have more maximum mana. Deal more frost damage again. Deal more void damage. Again for the cooldown. Chance at rare items from chests and monsters. Slash absorption. Nature damage absorption. Uh, what's the highest? 419. So if I can be like at the highest 300s or so. More slash damage. More strike damage. Reduces active cooldowns by 1.3 after being hit 5 times. No. I don't want to be hit at all, actually. Okay, what's the difference here? The one I have is <laughs> pretty good already. Uh, the only thing is that I deal more strike damage, but I don't do that stuff. Elemental damage absorption, though. Hmm. Uh, it's not that nice of a bonus. I want some kind of mix. Maybe a diamond would be nice in there. Okay, maybe there's a uh, s, s for slash. Slash damage. Uh, s slash siphon slash protection slash damage. There we go. Uh, that could do it. There's an onyx ring. With not as many focus. Why was I looking for slash? I need thrust damage. Jesus. I'm still at the S for some reason. I need thrust damage with a T. Come on, eyes. Frost damage, frost protection, frost damage. There it is. I have one and a half minutes. And that is it. Deal more frost damage. Yep, that could help. That could help. But what about if I get rid of the sage armor then? What else do we have? That one is like more frost damage. 4.2, 4. what one? So we got focus, some more focus, some strength, some focus strength, intelligence focus, constitution focus. Interesting. Uh, wait, wait. Someone just seems to have added their own ring in there. Except that this one is much better. <laughs> Neat. Uh, yeah, we're going to go for that one. So, now it's rings. Uh, leg stuff. There's no such thing as damage bonuses on legs. And there was also no bonuses like thrust stuff. Uh, there's like artificer with focused dexterity. Let's try that one. Uh, artificer armor. Alright, uh, the heavy kind first. Let's see. 
Yeah, intelligence would definitely change a little bit. Perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, the focus scaling is direct and the dexterity scaling is also direct. So that is helping me out a lot. Uh, you've been wet. Oh, come on. Uh, let's get in there again. What kind of sword is this dude actually holding? Look at that stick. That's not a hammer. That's also not a dual sword. That's also not an axe. What is this? Is he trying to fish? Uh, I can't. Uh... There we go. Now it's working. So again, back into the apparel. Uh can equip uh, leg armor the perks have been reset of course artificer uh, armor focus dexterity yes heavy please thank you did the no it's sorted by price Ooh, we need to be careful here there we go <laughs> everything gets jumbled around so what do we have uh, frost effects remains and no Leeching Cyclone? Huh? Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. And... Hmm. A little bit more lucky. Critical hits deal less damage to you. That would be so sweet, but nope. Can't utilize it anymore. But I also need another gem. The Wilderness Gem. A diamond? Was that it? I think so. Slightly better diamonds. At least those trousers aren't as expensive that's a very good thing neato so let's take those those are the trousers uh then the leg wear of course no the trousers are legs what about the hand wear armor heavy focus dexterity on killing blow of a target you've inflicted with the sense of rupture no uh Essence Rupture. Is that Void Gauntlet? Could have been. Rending throw kills. Nope. 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 None of them are any good though. That's not cool. Okay, so Artificer's not working. Uh, let's see what else we have in here as an option. We are not going for anything green, even if the choice would be okay as well. An empty socket for gem. Fortifying sacred ground. Yes. They can fortify increasing damage absorption a little bit more. But this is constitution strength. Ugh. Okay. 377. Oh, wait. That's not as good as the one that I have at the moment. Can I level as that? 34. Hmm. 9 and 6. But... This one has intelligence, right? And intelligence is not a good scaler for the rapier. Dexterity would be sweet. Much better. Much better. An awful lot of pure scalers, though. Hmm. Too bad. Okay, so if there's a little bit of intelligence still remaining, it's not that big of a deal. Because there's at least a side scaler for the uh, rapier. But not as good, though. Still not as good. Now, what about that? Oh, that's too expensive. Uh, strength. No, 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 uh, no. Okay, it's still somewhere around 400. Still a no from me. Tajins, nope, nope. Nope, and nope. And it gets a little too low now. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't get as picky with the items that are in green. Okay, what about this one? Focus intelligence. Uh, 150 something.
Okay, so not really, and that's not really working. We got the footwear, the legwear. What about the headwear? Was there a nice other option? No. It's also very close to the value right here, like 396. Very close to the 400s. Hmm. Okay, what about some bags? Are there any cheap ones? Are there any like... Let's go with high gear score and just scroll down until we find something useful. <laughs> and the answer is of course no. Alright, oh, stuff happened. Something got sold, or bought, or anything, really? I don't know. So, the resources, refined resources, uh, cut gems, diamond. Cut pristine diamond, I think that's the one. Uh, physical and elemental damage absorption, exactly. It still is not as expensive. 115, wait a minute. Yeah, 115. Or oh, I'm gonna go with a slightly cheap option. 17. The difference in uh, reduction isn't as much, right? That's the nice thing. But it only costs you like a tenth of the price. That is so cool. <laughs> that is absolutely cool. Um. Okay, let's buy three of them, put them in the stash. Actually, I... Oh, look at that. The headpiece had no... nothing on it yet. Let's place that there. Say yes. Place that there. Say yes. Same here. And good. Now, mm, focus extended here. Yeah. How does the damage change? 415 oh, no, no. 487 304 Ooh. that one decreased a little bit what because this one has yeah uh, 15 pure intelligence in it interesting yeah, and this one does thrust and nature damage, so that's like a split in terms of it. Interesting. Intelligence. 15... Wait a minute, the trousers. And this is 16. Yeah, that's a bit more. One direct scaling and the other one on the gem. And I think gems don't seem to alter the damage on the hit that much, do they? Because the calculation is not happening that way. Wait. I think I bought the wrong thing. I actually wanted to get the amulet instead. Ah, oh, so stupid. Like, look at this. That was, that was... No, 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 no. Oh, God, no. Alright. Bind on equip, though. I haven't equipped yet, so I might be okay. Ah. I don't want to keep those trousers around though. Nah, I'm going to buy things if I need it. Um, yeah, let's just wear that stuff. Bam. Much better. So. Oh, 500. Yes. The life stuff's getting higher and higher and higher and higher. And whatever secondary weapon I have in here, it's not going to profit that much. It's only the Void Blade that profits a lot from it. If I have 40... 
Let's sell a ring. First thing. The other options are, of course, the bloody same. To deal uh, intelligence focus, but this one is focus, pure focus. This one is also pure focus. Oh. Actually, I can do something funny. <laughs> Maybe I can uh, increase the price a little bit more from it. Yeah, that would be fine. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's go for apparel. Let's go for rings. And let's go for sage. Um. Yeah, now that I have sage, wait a minute, what's going on? Yeah, there's... That's weird, why is there so many... Why are there so many sage rings? I was also looking for the frost damage. Okay. <sighs> no. Okay, let's just sell it for... Let's sell it for 80. I don't know. Let's see. Hope that works. Probably not gonna get sold at all. Now, mm, the amulet was actually the thing that I wanted to look into. I completely forgot. Oh, I messed it up. Yeah, that one, for example. Oh, not cool. But it cost me... Yeah, it cost me 100. That was the problem. Haste your play lasts longer. What else do we have? Uh, 29. There we go. Reduces active cooldown if you get hit. And it has ice damage absorption. Uh, ice damage absorption but no. The price is a wee bit too high, and when it comes to fret levels, we don't care that much about it. So, we are not going to change that. The earring, on the other hand, yeah, the earring. The constitution. How much health do I have? 3,400. Apparel. Earrings. Focus. There we go. One was constitution, and the other one was focus. Why don't I just go for focus? Why did I not... Reduce the generation of threat by so and so much. Mana regeneration. What was the third one? Reduce active cooldowns by so and so much if you get hit. Yeah. All of them are elemental and physical. Hmm. I don't just want elemental damage absorption. Come on. But right. Uh, mana regeneration is always needed. Reduce the generation of threat by so and so much after performing a dodge. If I only fight against... Uh, the enemy myself, then it doesn't matter. So let's just get this earring in here. And use it. Right. Perfect. We lost just 400 uh, health here. What about the damage? It increased by another 20. <laughs> I want to play with the rape here and not with the life stuff. But this just happens to be the only solution. Alright. What about heavy footwear? Uh, no, wait a minute. <laughs> uh. Nah, these extra four points aren't really worth it. Mm-hmm. Feet, there we go. Ah, something else got sold again. Hmm. Is there really nothing else I can do here? Huh. Yeah, the sage thing is the actual problem. Constitution, Dexterity, Intelligence, Dexterity, Dexterity, Intelligence again. At least that one scales with the Rapier pretty well. Hmm. Unchangeable Flow, that is Rapier. What about heavy stuff? I want to get heavy. 
intelligence, constitution, constitution, dex, strength. And then I just went a little too far down. Pure intelligence. Yeah, and I just reduce it more and more and more and more until I'm at the same level of feet that I had before. Hmm. Why, oh why. Basically attack hits, trigger a fire chain. Oh yeah, that was a that's a cool one. Hmm. Intelligence focus. Critical damage. What do you have? Active grid? No. More fret. That was corrupted. But then the gear score gets lower and lower and lower. I don't like that. Hoi. Yeah, that one lowers the damage a bit more. Intelligence and focus. Focus dexterity. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Why could there be a pure sage weapon? Sage Ranger and Sage Main Hand. There we go. Okay, 15. There aren't that many Sage weapons in here. There's only the life stuff that gets sold with that. That's the thing. People don't seem to think that there are like... Combined... Varets in here. And they only want to sell the stuff that scales primarily with a certain stat. And not through like some trickery and so on. <laughs> Using Divine Embrace on a target. Nope, I don't use that. Mm, again, mana per hit. Nah. The cooldown is also a little bit too low. Uh, too high. Now we're not going to go with that. What else? Wait, these are all the weapons, right? Hmm. So, artificer weapons. Yes, artificer would be an idea. Artificer, not sword and shield. Artificer main hand attribute. Okay, that's not really working. Hmm. Good. Now, what about the sword and shield artificer? Or the sword and shield sage? Nope. By the way, how does the bonus stat, the, the luck component on this thing actually work? I have to compare that, to be honest. Yeah, let's look for luck. Uh, L for luck. Um... A, B, C, D, L, U, K. There we go. Now we have some lucky things. Uh, this one is a 1.6 luck on the shield. There's an awful lot of luck on the shield. Why do I have so many shields in here? That's weird. Interesting. So the shield gives you an additional luck component? Nah. Kind of weird. Like the 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 basic stats, uh, the attributes, they are half, half of the stats. But the luck component, and maybe the bonus crit component. Maybe this is how you can get additional stats there. That would be neat. Just have to figure out if that's actually true or not. One point nine luck at rare items from chests and monsters. 
Wow. Ah, yeah, wait a minute. This is intelligence and dexterity. Didn't want to do that. I just have to make that work somehow. <laughs> Why? <sighs> if you really think about it, I can just take a completely different weapon that has pure focus on it. Yeah, wait a minute. Uh, weapons with pure focus on it. Sage maniac weapon. I can't have another life stuff there. I'm looking for something that is not that. Okay, that's 18. That would increase the damage again. Another life stuff there. Another life stuff. Life stuff, life stuff. Everything is life stuff. Do we really only have life stuff in here? <laughs> Come on. The only other thing that's in there is the, the fire stuff. I just want good scaling. But fire would be a good one. I like fire. Only problem is I can't turn the damage around and the fire stuff would just be there to sit in my inventory forever. Mm, don't want that. Oh wait, it says can equip, so there might be exceptions. Uh, like that one for example. Ice gauntlet. Hmm. And of course the good old artificer stuff, artificer armor, artificer main hand attribute. Wait a minute, the damage itself is pretty high, but I can't attack that often, right? Like 470. But then I have the life stuff that does the range damage. I want something that is like close range, maybe mobile. The rapier, but I have a rapier already. Good. Hmm, what am I going to do with the earring jewelry right now? Do I want to keep it? Do I want to throw it away? I mean, the stats are nice. It's tanky. Do we need tankiness all the time? No. Does it? Oh, hasn't reset yet. <laughs> so, let's keep that around though, just in case. Hmm, what about the Void Gauntlet? I mean, it's nice to have. It does scale with focus, which is so sweet. And this nature damage thing there increases it as well. A23. Yeah, wait a minute. How does the damage change here? This one is A23. And now what happens? A30. Oh. <laughs> no. Uh the Void Gauntlet, why? Just why? Focus intelligence, focus intelligence, focus... Oh. The damage is too damn high. I can't... okay. For the rapier, I need to have a completely different build. Let's just keep the Void Gauntlet around then. Hmm. Nothing seems to be good enough for it. So that stuff gets thrown out. And that is pretty much it now. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. My inventory is just filling up nonsense all the time. Oh, one other thing that I need to do, uh, hmm. maybe I need to play a bit differently with a Void Gauntlet, but no. The mix between melee and range is pretty good. I 
I'm just thinking about how or if I want to get another V set on it, not or not. And I haven't even tested the rapier damage and whatnot. Wait a minute, have I still? Nah. Place it in the stash. I don't want to repair this multiple times in a row. <laughs> That's just the thing. Hmm. And with all of those bonus focus points, like the damage might be extremely ridiculous right now. I just need to find myself another enemy to test it out on. Right. This one. Heads or tails, the elite dude. That would be a nice solution. Uh, but no, this dude has to wait. Uh, I'm gonna come back once I'm a little bit more high level. Uh, this tier one, the obscured footsteps. That's uh, something that I have to do next. Let's just uh, unmark this other thing. Where's this dude? Shrouded intent? Uh, no, that's not it. Major hide. Really? There we go. That's the one. Defeat both Swain Benjamin. Let's unpin this thing. And we basically did most of the missions in here. Which means that I can... Oh, wait a minute. With my buying orders in here and all of that stuff. Ooh, need to be careful. My orders are very, 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 very high. Uh, the remaining 1,100 coin will be returned to you. Yeah. I haven't really made any profit here, didn't I? Where did all the money go? I mean, I used it for repairing, buying some items, and... That was a 2,000 or something, wasn't it? Uh, very large investment. Hmm. What about this? 600. So this is 600 gold. Then we have 1,700 gold. So we are at 1,800 gold. Still not that much of a profit. That's weird. That is weird. Ah, but if you look at the prices for those bags here yeah, and all of the other stuff, this is where the money is actually sunk into. <laughs> uh, not good, not good, not good. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Serotonin. Mall. Serotonin. Mall. Can I equip? Wait, wait. Ah, the perk is messing it up again. There's only one of them. Right. But the thing is, no one knows what to look for, I think. And this 1000 uh, hammer in there is just ridiculous. It's only for collectors. That's why it has this uh, high amount of gold. It's just a funny number, really, because otherwise it's just going to get destroyed. I just hope that there's one collector with an awful lot of gold. <laughs> Uh, it buys that thing. Uh, otherwise, it would be a bit iffy. Anyhow, let's end this episode for now. Because in the next one, we are probably going to move some items uh, around from this stash into another one. Yeah, and then there's also some stone cutting. Wait a minute. I still have some stone uh, that I would be able to sell. Let's do that with the resources, of course. The ones with the high amounts. And 0 0.11, 0 0.19, yes. Let's do that. Wait a minute, how much is that now? Uh, 300, uh, that's like 19 times 3. Yeah, there's also no transaction charge. What? Okay. Why is it that there's no transaction charge all of a sudden? When I try to sell stone. There seem to be only specific items where this transaction charge is attached to. And the stone is not part of it. It's really weird. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, that's point one. That's ninety. Nah. 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 That's not good. All right. Let's end this episode for now and continue, of course, at another time. Until then. Uh, it was a bit enraging, but uh, also we didn't really finish that many missions. That's quite sad. <laughs> That's quite sad. <laughs> oh, shite. Uh, anyway, as I said, like and subscribe, of course. Mm. Ta-ta. Hey,